A U.S. Army veteran from New Jersey was laid to rest today with full military honors. Shante Lands was there for the moving tribute. She explains why hundreds of people who didn't even know him attended that service. Yes, Lord, and he had no family. He had nobody here to say goodbye to him. Surrounded by complete strangers, U.S. veteran Robert Bob Gralla was honored at the Gloucester County Veterans Memorial Cemetery for his burial. We are here today to say we care. We came to honor him because he is a veteran and we all we stand together. A decorated serviceman, he served in Korea from 1968 to 1970. I'm a veteran and I served almost when he was uh, in Korea. Gralla, a prostate cancer survivor, died from a heart attack in a boarding home in Williamstown. He was 70. Bob was a very, very smart guy. Gralla met nurse Bonnie Bell and social worker Marcy Luca at Guardian Medical Daycare in Glassboro. They cared for him for nearly 20 years. Bonnie and I thought it would be six people, eight people, and here we had hundreds. There's bad stuff, but boy, there's an awful lot of good. And these folks are a big part of it. I just ask everyone to step up. You can place your hand on the casket. Say a final prayer as you're returning back to your cars. I wanted her to come here and say goodbye to Bob, too. A send-off fitted for a true hero. And being a vet of the United States, and he deserves every honor that could possibly be bestowed upon him just for the simple fact that he went and put his life on the line for us. The federal government will actually fund the headstone, but the nonprofit group Vets Helping Vets will set the headstone. In Williamstown, New Jersey, Shante Lands, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.